Hey guys, this is uh, Cameron, and I'm looking at the 2023 X13, and I want to show you a little performance boost that I figured out on this machine. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you what a GPU stress test looks like. So we're in turbo mode, and you can see that uh, we're getting close to 60 watts because the CPU is not active. But watch what happens when I turn on, you know, say like a game load of like three cores and we start that up. You can see the power goes way up on the CPU and sucks that power away from the GPU, which then goes down to 40 watts instead of 60 watts. And when you stop the CPU load, you can see the GPU goes back up. So, uh, here's my little hack for you. Now, this only works on certain NVIDIA driver versions, but the first thing we're going to do is go to the NVIDIA platform controllers and framework, and we're going to disable, that's under in your device manager, software devices, NVIDIA platform controller and framework. We're going to disable that. And when we do that, that actually disables the boosting components of NVIDIA. So when we run our when we run this, it, it goes to its stock 35 watts, and you're like, well, that's worse than before. Well, yeah, it is, but check this out. So this is where you can use special commands on the NVIDIA SMI. So I just opened up command prompt as administrator. Uh, I'm going to open up, type CMD, right click, run as administrator. You got to do it as administrator, otherwise it won't work. So we're going to type NVIDIA-SMI-PL. 60. You can't go higher than 60. That's 60 watts. So let's give it 60 watts. Now watch the frame rate. We're at 174. Now the GPU is now at 60 watts, which is higher than it was even boosting before. And you can see we're now at 241 frames a second. But the best thing is watch the CPU load. When I turn the CPU load back on, the GPU is not affected, which now we're pushing 90 watts on the CPU and GPU where it never let you use that much before. And you get consistent frame times because your CPU stays at 60 watts. Now I wouldn't recommend, you know, running this full bore like this without good cooling. Uh, but also I would probably limit the, uh, the watts of the CPU down a little bit. You know, fifth, you know 15 to 22 watts. Uh, and then th what that's going to do is that that's going to uh, just reduce the power a little bit. Now, another thing you can do is, uh, especially with this G helper, we'll open up the fans and power. You can also just set a temperature target. So if we just say, hey, I don't want things to get hot. So I'm going to run this at, you know, 78 degrees. I want that to be the target. So now you can see the power drop down for a second. Um, because it was already hotter than that, but now it, the power should come back up slightly. Yeah, so it will, it will tune your performance to the temperature you want to be at, which is very useful. So if you're like, no, I'm comfortable with 80. Now you're getting right around 50 Watts, but versus the behavior with the normal boosting, I mean, this thing just you do anything on the CPU and it's like, no, sorry, 40 watts. Sorry, 40 watts. So uh, that's my trick. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. We'll see you later.